those pictures once again of the fighting in Sri Lanka. Welcome back to CBC News today. I'm Harry Forstall. As we said before the break, there is a huge Sri Lankan community here in Canada. And the CBC's Bill Gillespie has been following their reactions to the fighting in the north of Sri Lanka. Bill, great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Uh, what about political unity? Because, of course, this in many respects has been a civil war in Sri Lanka. I is there unity here in Canada? Well, I, I, think it's, uh, I think it's fair to say that the majority of uh, Tamils in Canada, there's almost 300,000, mm. uh, do support the Tamil Tigers. They're, they're guys. They're, they're guys because the goal of the Tigers has been, all along, an independent Tamil homeland carved out of Sri Lanka. So there's, there's no question the majority of, of people, uh, actually, uh, of Tamil people in Canada support the Tigers. However, um, the, the Tigers have a history. And in fact, uh, some of the Tamils that oppose them are actually the sons and daughters and former relatives of other Tamil yeah. opposition leaders, which the Tamils annihilated. They, the Tamils essentially uh, assassinated any other Tamil leaders, the moderate leaders, so they became the only voice for the, the Tamil. voice, yeah. The, mm. So that, that goes back a long way, plus the fact that the Tamils are accused of ethnic, the Tigers are accused of ethnically cleansing that area in northern Sri Lanka, about one third of the country at their maximum. Uh, of, of Muslims and other, other groups. So there's a lot of room for opposition in Toronto as well. Now that also engendered a lot of fear, as, as you well know, because I know you've reported on this story over the years, how, uh, how the Tamil Tigers were able to exercise considerable influence over uh, Canada's Tamil community, uh, 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 forcing fundraising uh, and getting money from Canada to help support their fight against the, uh, against the government of Sri Lanka. Has that fear begun to dissipate? I think it has. I can give you an example. A couple of years ago, I did a story about what was essentially uh, the extortion of the Tamil community uh, by Tamil Tiger enforcers. Uh, and it was a big fundraising campaign for what they call the final campaign. And uh, so, so most Tamil people, of course, did contribute because if they didn't, they wouldn't be allowed by the Tamils to go back into the, the Tamil areas to visit their relatives. The only person I could get to talk to me about that uh, on the record uh, was a person who would only do it anonymously and with his voice altered. Now those people, that particular person has, has come out publicly and yesterday I was at a news conference where there, were some t uh, there was another group from the Sri Lankan community uh, and they were quite willing to, to criticize the Tigers. So not, not to say that the Tigers are wrong and the Sri Lankan government is right or anything. That that, but it appears as the Tigers are losing their grip on their stronghold in Sri Lanka, they're also starting to lose their grip on the Tamil community in Toronto.